I was born in Argentina. My mom and dad married at a young age, and they moved to the capital of Buenos Aires to find a better future, where later I was born in the 70s. I spent most of my school years living difficult times. First was the bullying I received for being a stutterer. Second issue, my dark skin. I have indigenous blood. My ancestors were from a native ethnic group called Mapuches. So I was in the capital city living around people with little education about inclusion, about our local heritage. And I was always the focus of jokes for looking this way. In those years, I do remember that I turned to books, adventures like Bomba, El Niño de la Selva, or Las Aventuras de Tom Sawyer. And by reading these books, they immersed me in this new world of fantasy, travels, and adventures. This is why I can say that books and education saved my life. Finally, in my 30s, I got a scholarship to study management and IT in South Korea. So I sold all my things and I started a new life. I lived around 10 years in Korea, where I also completed my master's degree in linguistics. I moved here from Korea, and I started to work for Dallas ISD later in 2016. Now, I am proud of my heritage, and my purpose here is to give and ignite passion in my students. My biggest contribution as a Latino is my story. I hope my students can identify with my hardship and are able to gain insight and hope through getting an education, which is what, at the end, has allowed me to be a productive member of the workforce in the country where I am now, the country I can call home, a place where I finally feel free. And the last word for my beloved Latino people is a quote from the best Argentinian writer ever, Jorge Luis Borges, who once wrote, all that happened to us, including our humiliations, our misfortunes, all that is given to us as a raw material, as clay, so that we may shape our art.